Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang Sports. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Monday, November 4th. I'm Lisa Diaz, and you're watching Mustang Sports. Cal Poly has two new Big West Championship trophies on campus. The men's and women's cross-country teams swept the two conference championship races in front of their home crowd on Saturday. second year in a row and the third time overall that the Mustangs have swept the Big West. The men ran an 8K race and the women ran a 6K race at the Fairbanks Memorial Cross Country Course here in San Luis Obispo. Cal Poly's Chris Frias won the race in 25 minutes and 19 seconds. That's the men's race. Junior Mitch Moriarty finished second with a time of 25 minutes and 22 seconds. In the women's race, Cal Poly sophomore Laura Hollander ran for the first time since August 31st and broke the course record running the hilly 6K in 20 minutes and 43 seconds. I do not know because I just saw it for the first time two days ago. I came out here for the first time because I have been running, so they, the team was coming out here doing some workouts and I hadn't seen it. So, um, I mean, I didn't want to go out too hard or anything in the beginning and didn't want to waste energy. Hollander beat the second place finisher by over a minute. For more interviews and coverage from the Big West Conference Championship, Visit www.mustangnews.net or tune in Thursday for our half-hour broadcast. Cal Poly men's soccer is still alive for the number two spot in the Big West Conference Tournament. Senior forward Mackenzie Pridham equaled the Cal Poly men's soccer career goal-scoring record and the Mustangs broke the program's single-season goal record as they defeated Sac State in a 4-2 victory on Saturday night. Senior George Malky scored the opening goal in the 22nd minute. The Hornets equalized the score in the 35th. Sac State's Mason McCann gave Cal Poly their second goal in the 58th minute when he accidentally redirected a cross pass from Cal Poly's Ari Lassiter. Cal Poly faces UC Davis on Wednesday, November 6th. The Mustang football team ran their way above 500 in the Big Sky Conference with a win over NorCal rival UC Davis. Quarterback Chris Brown led the way for the Mustangs with 195 yards on the ground with three touchdowns to match. Cal Poly would only attempt five passes in the game, one of which found its way into the hands of Akinyane Umo for a gain of 15 yards. Running backs Chris Nichols and Corey Garcia each had a touchdown on one-yard runs, which propelled the, Mus propelled the Mustangs to a 34-16 victory over the Aggies. Cal Poly returns home to play Sac State this Saturday. Kickoff starts at 6 p.m. Megan McConnell and Hannah Schleiss performed well Saturday, but it was not enough to overcome rival UCSB. UCSB won 25-20, 25-12, and 26-24. Cal Poly fell to 10-12 10, 10 overall and 4-5 and in the Big West Conference. UCSB improved to 13-8 overall and 8-1 in the Big West. Megan McConnell led with 12 kills and Schleiss tallied 10. The first set was tied 20-20 when the Gauchos went on a 5-0 run to end the first set. Cal Poly's next game will be November 8th when the team hosts Hawaii. That game starts at 7 p.m. We know Mustang Sports isn't the most creative name, so we want your help in naming this new weekly sports show, and we're extending the deadline another month. You have until December 1st to submit your suggestions to sports at mustangdaily.net. You can also tweet suggestions to at CP Mustangs or at CP Mustang News using the hashtag name, must, hashtag, excuse me, name Mustang Sports. The winner will get to come on the Mustang News Desk when we reveal the name. Thank you for watching our weekly edition of Mustang News. You can watch this show and get all your Mustang Sports updates every Monday morning at mustangnews.net. You can also watch our weekly 30-minute broadcasts on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHT, UHTV Channel 7. Have a great day, Cal Poly.